Hello there, I'm Ben Wade, and in this Unleash You tutorial, you are going to learn what cPanel is. You'll also take a quick tour through it so you can get an idea where the popular features are. And as always, if we mention anything during the video, there will be a link to it on our page so it's easier for you to find. And links to our pages are always in the video description in case you're not already watching this video on UnleashU.com. And now, let's dive into what is cPanel. So what is cPanel? Well, cPanel is short for control panel. And the basic idea is that cPanel, or control panel, is where you go to operate and manage your hosting account. This includes everything from installing software and managing files to setting up email addresses. So the first thing you need to do is sign into your cPanel. Now in general, if your company uses cPanel, then all you have to do is add forward slash cPanel after the primary domain on your account. The other option is to use the direct IP address for your login, and you usually receive that in a welcome email along with your name server and other account information. And if neither of these work, ask your hosting company how to access the cPanel. Now usually, if you add forward slash cPanel after your domain name, you'll be brought to a screen like this. So just enter your username and password that you set up when you set up your account. And go ahead and log in. And this will bring you to your cPanel dashboard. Now if yours looks a little different, that's because they're probably using a different default theme. You can change that right up here. But your cPanel gives you an overview of your hosting account and all the features to manage it. Now as far as individual features, we're not going to dive into those in this tutorial. We'll have more expanded tutorials later. But some of the ones you'll be using the most are your email accounts right here. This is where you set up email accounts. Your file manager right here. This is where you can manage files on your server. Your FTP account manager. This is where you can set up FTP accounts so you can use an FTP client like FileZilla or something like that. Visitor logs. Domain and subdomain managers. Your database managers. Now your software and services typically include things like Quick Install or Fantastico. And these allow you to install things on your server like WordPress and other types of software. And if you get really advanced, they have a lot more sophisticated features down here in the advanced area. But that's it. That's the nuts and bolts of your cPanel. And you could look for some other tutorials where we get into each of these features in a lot more detailed way. All right, in the rest of the tutorials coming up, you will learn how to actually build a website a few different ways. The first series is going to cover how to do that with WordPress. Another series will be behind the scenes tutorials on how we created these videos. We'll cover how we built UnleashU.com, which is where we organize all of our tutorials so they're easier for you to navigate. Lots of great stuff coming up and you don't want to miss any of it. So be sure to click that like button on our Facebook page. Be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Basically follow us wherever you find us, you never miss a thing. Also like, favorite, comment on, and share this video so other people have an easier time finding it. Alright, thanks for watching and keep an eye out for more tutorials coming up.